Yeah, it is crazy. I mean, time definitely flies. Uh, while you're going through it, it doesn't seem like it. But now looking back, it only feels like I've been here a few days and I'm already a sophomore. So Before we get into this year and a lot to preview and talk about, look back to last season. Obviously didn't end up where you guys wanted it to, but 34-3, and a lot of highlights, a lot of great play, and you got to be around a lot of great guys. You have to look back at last year and smile, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it, it was a learning experience, uh, uh, good and bad. Uh, we learned from our losses, and we learned uh, through the success we were able to have. Um, just the experience that we got to play with the seniors that we had uh, uh, was great, and, and a lot of freshmen um, don't get that opportunity, so it was definitely awesome and, and just a lot of fun to kind of step back and reflect on uh, all of what la- last season was. You could probably talk for hours about what you learned from guys like John Diebler and David Lighty in practice, you know, on trips, just in general. What would you look back, though, what do you remember most, and what did you learn most from those guys? Uh, the biggest thing I learned uh, from those guys was uh, the mindset they brought to practice uh, every day, uh, they knew that they couldn't take a practice off. They knew they couldn't um, get where they wanted to. They couldn't be as successful as they wanted to if they took practices off. And, and they came in with a great mindset every day, knowing that they needed to get better at something, uh, whether it was passing, dribbling, uh, or something as a team. Uh, and that was one of the biggest things that I've trying to take away and continue to kind of uh, help that come on into this season as well to help us to become a better basketball team. Buckeyes sophomore point guard Aaron Graff joins us via the Subway Fresh Take Hotline here on the Buckeye Show on 97 won the fan. All right, so what's the difference between you at this time last year getting ready for the first regular season game and you this year getting ready for the first regular season game? I think last year it was a lot of uh, looking up to the seniors we had and the leadership and just trying to get a feel of like, hey, you know, what do we do? How do we go about doing this, uh, getting ready for games and, and the practices before games and all that. Uh, but now that I have a year under my belt and we have a few younger guys, uh, I, the roles have kind of switched, and I'm kind of that guy that those those younger guys are looking up to, uh, kind of how to get ready for games, uh, what practices are like, uh, weeks of games and things like that. So just trying to fill that role. As most people know, you usually came off the bench last year, usually after that first media timeout. And I know for people who got to go to games and see you, would sit next to one of the coaches and he would kind of point out things and you would kind of question things. You'll likely be a starter this year. How does that change your role? I think it definitely changes a little bit. Uh, those first four minutes were – or big just to get a feel of the flow of the game, uh, whether it was the other team or whether it was uh, how the refs were going to call the game. So uh, if I am fortunate enough to start this year, it, it is going to be a change. It's going to be different. I'm going to have to uh, adjust to that uh, and get the flow of the game on the fly instead of having that, that first four minutes where I can kind of look and observe the game. One of the most impressive things about you last year was your defense, and not that you were so good at defense necessarily, but that you seem to love playing defense. What is it about? I know everyone likes to score. Everyone likes to get that big assist, but you really seem to take a liking to the defensive end as well. What is it about that? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, I've always really enjoyed playing defense. When I was younger, I was always playing up and so my offensive game wasn't usually there, but uh, I had a lot of joy of, of defending someone that was older than me and, and kind of shutting them down, if you will, uh, having fun with that. And I, I just really enjoyed it. It's something that I know that I can go out and, and play as hard as I can on defense every single game. And I know that's something that, that definitely needs to be brought to the table, especially at the level of basketball that we play here. Let me. I want to talk about some of the players on the team and how they develop. Let's talk about the coaching staff. You add Chris Gent, you, uh, you add Greg Paulus to the staff as well. What a practice has been like. What have those additions meant to you? Uh, it, it's been great. Uh, just, uh, you know, the knowledge of the game that, that those two bring. Um, Coach Gent uh, has been amazing, just just the different aspect of just the whole game of basketball that he brings, uh, the different workouts and the different things that, that he understands uh, about the game. And then Coach Paulus as well. Um, it's just a great. They're just two great additions to our staff. Paulus was a pretty good point guard himself. Just a few. You're probably what in high school, middle school when he was playing at Duke. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do remember him. Uh, we, we joke here and there about um, how much he wasn't really liked, I guess, or, around the country. <laughs> sure. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, he he is he's an awesome guy to have around. He's on our side here in a few weeks, right? We got to make sure he's a Buckeye this time around. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, I won't. I wouldn't be lying to you if I said we didn't bring that up once or twice, uh, making sure we're, we're watching who he's calling every once in a while and things like that. But, yeah, and he's sitting right in, uh, and he's an awesome, awesome guy. Buckeye point guard Aaron Kraft, our guest here on 97, won the fan. Will Buford is the only senior on this team. He's never been the most vocal guy in the world, but I know he loves to lead by example. What is he like as a teammate and as a leader? Will has definitely grown, uh, at least what, from what I've seen from last year to this year. Uh, I think he understands that, that he is the only senior and he is that, that leadership guy that has the most experience and that most of us are looking up to, including the sophomores that did get to play last year also. So 
uh, Will's just been great. Uh, he comes into practice uh, ready to go every time, and 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 Will uh, he has grown, but he his game has also evolved as well, which which has been great to see. And Jared, obviously, a lot has been made about his weight loss and probably his strength gain as well. But you know, you practice with Jared. I'm sure you're around him for hours on end every week. What what has he done to develop? Uh, I think uh, he you know he's just matured. Uh, it's awesome to see that he was able to discipline himself this summer uh, in order to lose the weight that he did. Uh, I mean, it's definitely not anything easy to do, and he was able to do that, and I think that shows him growing off the court uh, as well as on the court. He He's definitely worked on kind of expanding his game, being able to kind of step out and stretch out the defense a little more than, than he did last year. And, and, you know, Jared's just a great team player. He understands uh, what, what he needs to do to make our team the best that it can be. I really enjoyed watching some of the freshmen go to work in that exhibition game Sunday. Talk, if you could, about the guards, uh, Sam Thompson, Shannon Scott. They look like they're pretty well ahead of the curve so far. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They came in uh, willing to be coached and willing to work, and I think that was one of the biggest things that definitely helped them. Uh, they came they came in with, with open hands, uh, just asking and getting any information that they could and trying to apply it to their games. Uh, we just continue to, to grow and continue to come together as a team, and we should be all right. And then a few other names we haven't mentioned, but it'll certainly play an impact. Lenzel and then Jordan Seibert, Deshaun Thomas. You guys are, are pretty, got a pretty good, uh, pretty good roster this year. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have we have some really good pieces uh, to the puzzle. Uh, we're just trying to find the best way to put it together uh, and, and have everyone play their role to the best of their ability, and, and we'll see where we can go from there. Number three preseason, you know, and it's probably like this every year, and I'm sure it was like this when you were in high school. Every night you're going to get the other team's best shot. That's going to be their chance to upset one of the great teams in the country, but you love that, right? Yeah, you know, I think that's one of the big reasons you, you come to a, a university like Ohio State. Uh, you love uh, playing in big games, and we, we have a lot of those this year. And knowing that teams are going to come in and, and they're going to have their best games against us, I think that's, that's just awesome. That's what you want in a basketball game, and that's what you want uh, as an athlete uh, is be able to play in big games. Let me wrap up with this. You were a standout high school football player. I know you love Buckeye football probably as much as anybody listening or in this town. Man, we're turning this thing around. What do you think? We are. It's awesome. It's great to see uh, you know those guys kind of rally around each other uh, with everything that happened. Uh, it's it's just been great. Um, it took a little time, but it is awesome to see because uh, uh, I'm I'm friends with a few of those guys as well. Mm-hmm. Just to see their excitement about it and everything. It, it's just been great. It's good for Ohio State. Great time to be a Buckeye. I'm so thrilled. Basketball season's back. I know you were as well. Good luck in the opener against Wright State, Aaron. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.